do here is this is the uh, this is the first fight scene of the uh, of the film. So it's not going to be uh, a really big uh, drawn out fight scene. What we want to do is just give the audience a taste of the action that's to come. So we're going to show just a quick attack with a knife, uh, followed by two or three uh, subsequent attacks, uh, and and that's it. So basically, my character is uh, at this point is having a meeting to set up the deal that's to come later. But while we're doing this, there's a, there's a displaçado, a, a homeless bum that's, that's watching. And the thing that's unique about that is, is here in this area, it's very dangerous. There's many homeless bums in this area. And, and so every time we're out here, the police say, be careful, be careful, be careful. So we're in a scene where this is very likely to happen. Next, you'll see an attack with a knife. And this is very normal for the culture here also. We're in, the, in, in the, the States, they're more likely to use a gun. Here it's more likely to happen with a knife. So that's what we're going to do. Well, I'm part of the production team. There's uh, three of us producers and our idea is to make a low budget film because it can be done. We've got uh, two cameras and uh, all the equipment we need. And what we're going to do today is uh, to test color, to test uh, camera quality, to see if they're working. We're going to record it uh, 24 frames progressive. And uh, that's uh, the exercise. You know, do things without a whole lot of money, without complication, without waiting months for a budget to get approved. Because this is about making films and making them with what you have. That's my role, to help technically with uh, the knowledge I have in audiovisual filmmaking to test things. Um, you know, it's funny how you know people for, for, for some years and you really don't know the depth behind them sometimes. And uh, I would say that's what happened. I, I had met uh, this movie's protagonist uh, working and I had this idea of somebody who clearly knows martial arts, although we'd never talked about that. And I had the idea of somebody who does like tactical training for uh, law enforcement agencies and stuff like that. I had an idea of somebody who was like, you know, one of those guys that talks through a mic uh, on his watch or something. And um, well, I eventually ended up playing golf with a dude. And uh, well, golf became part of, the, part of the friendship. And one fine day he calls and says, do you know anybody who is like into film, anybody who's got cameras and lights and, and whatnot? And I said, sure, sure, because um, besides um, all the other things that I do, I, I do voiceovers. So I, I deal a lot with uh, people that are in film and uh, with recording studios and that kind of thing. And um, 
And then that's when I found out that our protagonist actually knows a thing or two about cameras. So I was, I was intrigued. Next question is, uh, do you know anybody who can write a script? And I said, well, hell yes, I do. <laughs> I happen to be that person. <laughs> I've been writing for, for years and years and years. And I, I was thrilled by the possibility of, of, uh, of writing something and getting it filmed. I really didn't care what it was about. And that led, you know, one thing led to another, and, and suddenly we've got a, an overarching theme which is uh, related to martial arts, and uh, we're working collaboratively, uh, looking at different sides of the story and what kinds of things we would like and what we wouldn't like. And, you know, in those discussions, one of the things that came about was, let's not, let's not take the easy way out. Let's not, let's not be so cliched and, and say that, okay, we're in Colombia because this is where we are. We're in Colombia and um, the story has to have drug traffickers, uh, evil paramilitaries, uh, hideous criminals, and, uh, and corrupt uh, law enforcement. Let's just make this a story about the martial arts. Let's make this a story about somebody who gets it and somebody who doesn't. And that, in a nutshell, without giving the story away, would be the basic idea of the protagonist and the antagonist. The uh, not even a fallen angel antagonist is a jargon-speaking, BS-talking, scumbag hustler. And he's got what he thinks is the ultimate dojo and he's actually uh he's actually a sleazebag a criminal and he's in love with this girl who's not much better than he is a girl who happens to have met by chance to have met an important person who is a key uh catalyst of the story at some point so that would be uh, in, 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 in big terms, without giving any of the story away at this point, what it's all about and how it got started. It was a question of, of just talking. You know, we started talking and, and one thing led to another and suddenly you're telling me about you meeting this guy, uh, a, a talented camera operator, filmmaker, somebody who's, uh, who um, went to college and studied um, visual media production. And we just started to network, basically. We started to network. And would you believe that people started to be um, uh, interested in the whole thing? It was like, OK, this is different. This is not something that everybody else is doing. This is not the hard luck, uh, let's get the hell out of this country story. This is a story that happens to take place in Colombia. But it's not necessarily about Colombia. It's more universal. And I think that that is what has attracted people to, uh, to the whole project, to help us out in the project. Everybody's working long hours and putting in a lot of effort and, and doing things the right way. You know, we've got state-of-the-art equipment, we've got good cameras. When we need things, we network through our friends and we get things. And it's been uh, uh, a very enjoyable thing to do because of that. You know, just the whole collaboration has been uh, has been incredible i think for me I, it's something i thrive in and i think uh some of the other people in the crew that i've talked to are, are absolutely thrilled to be a part of this you know it's just something different and it's uh it's cool <laughs>